What is up y'all? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to my space. Today we are doing another jewelry video. So if you guys are OG on the channel, you guys know that I started my fine jewelry, fine, yes, fine jewelry journey very recently. Probably almost three years ago, like right before the panini. I'm going to say like the summer before the panini, I woke up and I was like, I like real gold and diamonds now. Before that, I didn't really care and the only fine jewelry that I did wear was um, things that were gifted to me like my engagement ring and wedding band and uh, a couple pairs of earrings that were gifted to me from like family members that I just wore on a regular basis so I could shower in it but I didn't really care about it. So I started my journey and uh, now I'm kind of obsessed but I've learned that jewelry, fine jewelry especially is something that you have to grow over time like unless you got money bags after money bags and I am not money bags like that just yet. I can't really go out and buy like every piece under the sun that I love. It has to be slow. It's a slow burn, you know? Slowly but surely, I'm growing my collection. So today's video, I'm going to share with you a starter kit, like five pieces to start your fine jewelry journey. And of course, full disclosure, if you don't like something, of course, you don't have to get every single one of these things. Like for the longest time, I didn't care for a necklace. Like I just didn't like things around my neck. So that was the last thing I bought. Um, I'm still really looking for an everyday necklace situation because it's very recent that I've been like, oh, I can wear something around my neck all the time. So let's hop right in. So for me, the first thing that I bought when it came to fine jewelry was, of course, earrings. Like y'all know I am a stack girl. I love getting my ears pierced. I love wearing the, the jewelry in my ears. So um, I've always worn earrings in my ears, but they've never been fine. So first thing I bought was a pair of small Huggies. Now this had a lot to do with the fact that, you know, I was grown <laughs> and I was like, girl, you can't be wearing those big, big hoops to work, okay? You are a grown up and you need to get it together. You need everyday Huggy style situations. So the first thing on my list is a pair of like huggies or small hoops. So here are mine. They're just solid gold hoops that you guys have seen a hundred times. I'll show you guys like B-roll clips, but they have like a little wave situation to them. So they're not very typical. I honestly don't even know where I got these. I think I walked into a random jewelry store like downtown Toronto and I picked them up like in Chinatown, there's a lot of jewelry stores in Chinatown. Hot tip, they have a lot of good stuff. But yes, yeah, so the Huggies and, or a small pair of hoop earrings are such an everyday jewelry staple. It is the easiest thing to wear, honestly. And if you have one that's not like mine, like some of the hoop styles click together so there's no real backing, you can, like there's no pointer in the back you can wear them all day and all night and never take them off but this is absolutely number one the first thing i bought when it came to fine jewelry number two is another pair of earrings so i'm gonna give y'all some options okay some options so number two of course if you're gonna do a hoop then you also have to get a pair of studs or however many you want but there are some options so for the longest time i wore like a very plain stud it's just a small diamond in the middle and it's kind of like a bezel style i really like a bezel style earring jewelry in general if there's a diamond i like it bezeled uh, it's very small and dainty small diamond and just gold because i like gold and so you can definitely do like white gold or whatever you like but me i'm a gold girl so you can go straight just plain and if you got the bread you could do like kind of in my ear in my ear over here right now a good diamond stud like a, a big big diamond stud but i like a diamond stud with a gem in it it doesn't have to be a diamond you could do any gem that you love maybe you love to wear emeralds maybe you want to wear your birthstone whatever tickles your pickle y'all i'm just saying it should be a stud or you don't have to do one with a gem at all i personally just like a little shine you know when the sun hits a gemstone it gets a little Sparkle and a girl likes a sparkle. Okay, a sparkle is for me. Okay, so the other option aside from like plain just like single shaped Stud with a gemstone is something like this which is, is a flower Diamond stud and it's just very cute 
every single day you can wear it dressed up dressed down it's just again what i was saying before like a little stud with a gemstone that when the sun hits it gives you a little sparkly sparkle can't be mad at that and then it's it's a little more unique with the with the flower shape so that is my number two jewelry starter all right moving on to rings first and foremost i feel like the easiest thing to buy to jazz up a look or to get like the first thing the first ring for your very empty hands is a statement ring now statement rings come in all shapes and sizes i personally really really love the dome ring and everybody really really loves the dome ring the dome ring plain the dome ring with a gemstone in it the dome ring with like the croissant style dome ring like those went super super viral in the last couple of years and they're very easy to wear it's just very every day so here I'm wearing my, see, see already, it's this all you need. It's one ring and it's already given, right? It's really given. We really like that. So here I'm wearing like a dome ring with a gem in it. This is the True Curated Designs Jill, um, the August Diaries collaboration. I love this ring. I wear it every single day, but you can wear it by itself and it just, it's just given. Okay. So a statement ring absolutely a yes for your starter jewelry kit all right next up is also another ring well i have six okay <laughs> this is six pieces not five girl i'm a mess i'm a mess okay we gonna have to edit that it's gonna be six pieces in your starter jewelry kit next up is also another ring so me personally, I love a thumb ring or a pinky ring, but I think if you don't have anything on your hands to start, a pinky ring over a thumb ring. And, and I honestly, between the two, I prefer a thumb ring. I wear both. But like I said, if you have nothing, I think the pinky ring is that girl. So for me, I just have a plain band on my pinky. That's it. I don't know what it is about this. Like it looks better than a like single thumb, maybe because it's like the end of your hands. And it's, it's just it's just a little something something right right like just a, a statement ring and a pinky ring now i know a lot of people wear like a signet ring i personally don't really love a signet ring on my pinky but on other people i think it's amazing so that's definitely an option just something for your pinky it's it's cute right just a plain pinky ring or you could do like a bedazz not a bedazzle a pave diamond pinky ring but for me it's just a plain band and it's it's given all right it's given all right so now you know it's starting to come together although my ear has a lot happening in it here you know what we'll look at it on this side there's way less happening over here ow ow yeah okay already already so up next we're going into the wrist so ignore my wrist here you know what let me put my blazer down so you can't see it's very plain my favorite wrist jewelry and i think it's like an easy starter piece is the bangle so right here i have my cartier juste en clou in the small size but um, i'm only using this as a visual example because i don't have any other bangle style jewelry like fine jewelry so this was the the first and only bangle i bought and i just think that it's better than a chain bracelet as a starter jewelry because like this is two together so you can see it a bit more but if it wasn't two together, I feel like it's too dainty. Like to start, it's just too dainty of a piece to stand on its own. Together with a bunch of other pieces to stack, a dainty bracelet would be beautiful. But as a starter jewelry, I think the, the bangle does a lot more. It's more of a statement piece. So let me put my, my bangle back on. <laughs> my bangle back on. So like a plain, obviously on this side, you know what, let me flip it over. So it's giving, the illusion of a, just a plain bangle. I like that way better than something dainty, like a chain bracelet. It's just, you know, it's too muted for me personally. It's not doing what it needs to do. Whereas the bangle is plain. There's nothing else happening here, but it has a thickness to it. And it just gives a statement, a perfect starter piece to your jewelry and this is why when i first started my stack of two now um i started with this bracelet instead of the love bracelet because i felt like this alone could stand on its own very very well i don't like the love bracelet by itself so starter bangles all right last up on my starter jewelry 
situation is a necklace. Now again, I told you guys at the beginning, necklace was last on the list for me because I just don't like necklaces around my neck. In the daytime, cool, but like something to wear all day and all night. I do not like to take off my fine jewelry. The only things I take off are like my first earrings because they stab me in the back of my like head. Um, and my rings. I cannot wear my rings to bed, but bracelets, the rest of my earrings, necklaces, like I don't want to take them off. And for some reason, I just felt like I was like choking in my sleep. You know how it gets like, caught in the back and it's just all around your neck. And I hated wearing necklaces. So I've only recently wanted to start wearing necklaces and I haven't even found something that I love for every single day yet, but we're still going to talk about a necklace. Here I have an example of a piece that is very popular so chain necklaces personally i think that for an everyday necklace for me i would wear something with a pendant but an easy everyday piece for like your first time necklace would be a chain and it's very popular now you can find them in very different styles i don't know what the style is called but there's like the curb style chain the cuban chain the link chain so many different chains that you can find in like 10 karat gold 14 karat gold like all the golds and you can wear them every single day and they just match very easily with everything you wear like you can take a day to night now again i said that for me i'm looking for something with a pendant it's just who i am but i could wear a chain every single day and it would just go with everything see it's just like perfect not too much, not too like gaudy and shouty. Just the perfect little sparkle, frosting for your neck. Okay, we like that. So now let's take a full look at my jewelry. Now we'll look at this ear. Just remember, it's not supposed to have much. And ignore my tragus. Pretend it's not there and it's just the hoop <laughs> and the diamond in the back. So we got a hoop and a diamond stud. So hoop and a stud. And then we have our necklace, just a plain chain necklace. And then we have a statement ring on one hand with a bangle on the wrist. And on the other hand, we just have a pinky ring. And I look complete. This looks like a girl who has jewelry, who wears jewelry, who maybe has a collection at home. But in reality, she just started her jewelry collection. Okay? Okay. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what other pieces of jewelry you would do for a starter kit. And I will see you guys next video.